Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, the channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are going back into Final Fantasy 16. Having completed the story, we will not be doing New Game Plus. We will instead be going back into our final save and completing some of the achievements that we missed along the way. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So I do believe Bahamut was next. And true enough, you can find the chronolith for Bahamut within the Holy Empire of Sanbrek, just a little north of Northreach. So here we are in Cape Orsier for the Trial of Light. So for stage one, we get Flare Breath and Satellite. Okay. So we can move this around to catch more uh, enemies in it. Uh, fuck Mega Flare, I don't need any here. Mega Flare is going to fuck me though. Because the time it takes to charge up is just going to be... Gotta be careful with Mega Flare, the amount of time it takes to charge is very easily going to ruin this stage. But we managed to make it into stage two. where we've got Impulse, which I really like, and Satellite, which is just passive damage, so this should be pretty good.
somebody attack me. Come on. There we go. Mega Flare is a lot of damage. You just gotta be careful of that charge time. Pop it as soon as you can. If you can do some precision dodges, great. Uh, yeah, it's just very careful on that one. And for stage three, we get Impulse, very nice, and Giga Flare, which you're going to have to point. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, damn! He took a full Giga Flare to the face. Oh, that was sweet. That was a very good Mega Flare. Get that cannoneer down as soon as possible because I hate him. Um, there he is. You couldn't find him. The giggle player was so bright I couldn't see anything behind it. I didn't know what I was aiming at. But we did make it through stage three with, holy crap, four minutes to go. Oh, Jesus. So for our stage boss, We've got Flare Breath and Giga Flare. Both very pointy channel effects that can get broken pretty easily, so. Alright. Start off with a Mega Flare. Because we might not get a whole lot of other stuff. He's just gonna take the whole Giga Flare? Damn. Like a boss. Oh, that did not dodge. I did not dodge that. Here we go. That we dodged.
got our stagger off. And with proper use of Mega Flare. Um, do we have to wait for the stagger to go through, really? Pizza. Or we just had to wait for the ability to finish up, I guess. I don't know. Either way, we had three minutes. We could have held that, so we were good. All right. Um, well, if that was Bahamut, I'd hate to see what Odin's going to be like. Oh wait, we got Shiva before we got Odin, didn't we? Alright, let's go find Shiva. Oh wow. Okay, well, that was... what? Do we just got Masamune? Oh, okay, it's not as good as Gutterdammerung. That would have been nice earlier, though. So, yeah. Um, so, if we go to... Technically, it's in the Shadow Coast. But I think Isla is going to be a better uh, port to travel. Go across the bridge and the Angry Gap. And here... In this little alcove, squeeze through the rock, pick up Masamune, and we can do the hand of Rhea, which is trial by ice. So, stage one, we get Rhyme and Re Mesmerize. Um, this should be interesting. Uh, if I can actually do them both at the same point, that should be pretty cool. Uh, mesmerize, group everybody up. Rhyme to do damage over time. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I think Shiva's very uh, crowd control type build. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know what I just did. But... I seem to be doing okay on time, though. What the heck, it put the rhyme off of this dagger? That's silly. If you would have put the rhyme directly where he was staggered, you could have gotten so much damage in. Oh my goodness. I guess that's something to be aware of. It kind of puts it behind your target, not directly on them. 
but we still came out with more time than we went in, so that is very good. Stage two, we get Ice Age. Oh, okay. Um, sure. And Mesmerize. So that pulls everybody in so that you can hit them all with the Ice Age cone. All right, let's go. Everybody lets you get a whole bunch of damage in and drop that adamant so it's like butter. Very nice. <laughs> I'm at almost five minutes. How? Oh my goodness. I guess every time you collateral members, 12 seconds and for perfect ice. Okay, that's probably the good one there. Um. Of note, when you're doing the Ring of Timely Strikes, you will always get the max charge on your, like, Ice Age. So everybody you hit with Perfect Ice at uh, max charge Ice Age gives you 12 seconds. So that's pretty good. Every time you hit Permafrost, it's another 8 seconds. Yeah. Just executing your abilities well. Which is entirely the Ring of Timely Strikes. I don't take any credit for that. If I did not have my rings on, I would be failing this so miserably. So, Stage 3, we get Ice Age and Diamond Dust. So, Diamond Dust we're familiar with. We got an achievement with that earlier. And Ice Age, we just saw... just tear the field up so this should be pretty good Let's start off with diamond dust huh well it didn't kill anybody oh it did kill everybody all right so that cleared the field so it's just me and the uh with our hair we get a permafrost into Dang. Yeah. We're at over five minutes now. Yeah. 
Another permafrost. I hit four people with that ice out, whatever. Really, you're gonna waste Ice Age on one person? Well, I guess that's the downside to the Ring of Timely Strike. It'll just do whatever it wants to do, regardless of how many people are on the field. This is over. And so I'm going into the final boss fight with five and a half minutes remaining. I I don't even know what to say. Ring of Timely Strikes is OP. That's what I have to say. What the heck is that? Oh, that's an Ultima. Huh. So we've got Rhyme, which probably isn't going to help me out a whole lot because I assume this guy can just blink out of it. And Diamond Dust, which is at least going to do some damage. So let's do it. All right, Nemo. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we've like I said, see, he just bounces right out of the the rhyme the bubble. But time and dust did pretty good. Oh, we got another rhyme bubble behind him, and he just bounces out of it. Yep. So there's not really much to do but just beat him up during the stagger. Rhyme is just gonna pop behind him and then he's gonna break out of it anyway, so we'll do piddly little damage. It's not like I am really under any kind of time pressure here. Alright, or he could just jump into a rhyme. That works too. I had the time, so I waited until Diamond Dust was ready and just to kill him with that. Purely for style points. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> with four and a half minutes remaining. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. Uh, so the trial for Odin, I assume, is going to be out here in Ash as well. 
There it is. So here is the hand of Enceladus. I don't know. But it's up here in the Bad Batch Conservatory uh, off of Vitagres. So yep, just head on up here and we can take the trial of darkness. So for stage one, we get Gungnir and Heaven's Cloud, which I think is what I was using to get up here anyway. So yep, let's do it. This should be pretty easy. That was Heaven's Cloud, this is Gungnir. No, that wasn't Gungnir. Well, that's then Kazookas. Oddly enough, on this one, uh, the ring of timely strikes is probably going to hurt you more than help you. Because I think this one is going to be mostly keyed off of good usage of your Zen and Sukin, which ring of timely strikes does not do. It will just kind of use it whenever. Your best bet is to just keep doing stuff until you can get up to a level 5 Zenitsuke, and that will kill pretty much anything on the arena. Ring of Timely Strikes will use it at level 2 pretty much all the time. Well, it's not looking good. Um, yeah. So for stage 2, we get Rift Slip, which doesn't do any damage at all, and Heaven's Cloud, which barely does any damage at all. So, this should be, this should be a fail. Finished. 
Oh shit, that wasn't it. I thought that there, there's more to- Oh god, yeah. Yeah, we're done. There is, there's no way. So for stage three, we get to use Rift Slip, which does no damage, and Dancing Steel, which might save the run. But yeah, see, we get 15 seconds for a level 5 Zantetsuken, which the Ring of uh, Time Strikes will never let you do, because it always uses it on, like, Zantetsuken 2 or 3, or as soon as it can. Uh, Perfect Steel is for um, doing a parry and then another strike immediately. And those are going to be your main um, time gainers. So that's really what you need to look to doing. I am not going to. I am just going to work. There's no way. Knock me right out of it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That uh, didn't do anything to increase my time, though.
Alright, we managed to get off a level 5 Zantetsukin. Which gave us a little bit of breathing room, not a whole lot. And then it goes right into his Ekatsuka. Absolutely no charge, no chill, nothing. They just attack too fast to set up. Well, we made it to the boss, but there is no way, no way I'm beating this boss in under a minute. It's a chimera. All right, well, what do we got to work with? Gungnir and Dancing Steel. Well, let's see. Holy hell. Get the fuck out of there. I don't have potions! Oh, fuck! Get out of there! Why do you just dodge straight backwards? Dodge to the fucking side! Holy shit! To the side! 
Why do you dodge straight back, you idiot? But yeah, I was never gonna gonna I was never gonna with no, that was just yeah. Alright, so through usage of some better timed Zantetsukins, or at least better aimed Zantetsukins, we were able to get to the final stage with almost two minutes remaining, so let's see if this doesn't go a little bit better. Don't do a level 4. I suppose a level 5 is not going to kill him anyway, but... Damn it. That was gonna get me. Fuck you, you piece of shit! There we go. Whew. Use, utilize the fire breath. Uh, do a side dodge. You have to actually hold the control stick to the side to do a side dodge. Otherwise, Clive's dumbass will just dodge straight backwards, still in the fire breath. So after you side dodge, start up your dancing steel because it takes so long to charge, and then you just but you get so much Zantetsukan power out of it. And that's how we get done with the Trial of Odin. With six seconds left. So we have now completed all seven trials. So yep, all Carnalith tri trials are now complete. And we have obtained the Circle of Malleus item. So what is the Circle of Malleus item? Well, if we head on back to our hideaway, we can enter our bedchamber, check out our Wall of Memories, and obtained for the horde for obtaining the circle of malleus oh it's the banner that shows the whole e that is awesome i like that and that is one more achievement down so we now have all but four trophies the platinum 
Fantasy Finally for completing the game in Final Fantasy mode, Master Class for learning all of the iconic abilities, and one more that we might be able to get. So as we said, Master Class was for learning all of the iconic abilities. But there is an achievement for learning all of one icon's abilities. So I don't have enough ability points right now to learn all of, say, Phoenix's abilities. Uh, Phoenix is the one that has the least amount of ability points to, to finish off. I can learn most of them, but as we can see, I am a few thousand ability points away. But Final Fantasy 16 does allow us to hold the touchpad to reset all abilities. You don't lose any ability points for this, um, but it just takes all of your ability points away. What we can do now is go into the Phoenix abilities and we can just go ahead and upgrade all of the Phoenix abilities. And once we do, that will earn us our trophy. Yes, I can. I can't. Yes, I can't. For mastering one. Now the rest we are going to have to grind AP like mad. Because as you can see we still need a thousand there, 3,500 3, plus probably another 4,000. So we need another 10,000 ability points just to complete Odin. Uh, and then there's another probably 10,000 to complete Shiva, Bahamut. We need a lot more ability points. All right, that's all I'm saying. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We're going to go into our gear. Uh, we're going to keep Ring of Timely Strikes and Ring of Evasion because I would not be able to play this game without those. And we are going to equip the Wages of Warcraft. This increases the amount of ability points earned through encounters. That will help us farm ability points. And then we've got a couple options. Um, by a couple, I don't mean good options. I just mean there are a couple options. Uh, we can head over to Ash. We can go into any of these... Uh, waypoints, and we can just run around and killing stuff forever. Or, the option I'm going to use is we can head over here to system, we can save our game, and so now that we have a completed save file, completed as in it has completed the campaign, we can return to the title screen, and we can go into New Game Plus. I am not going to do the entire New Game Plus run on stream. Um, that would, If you want to see the storyline, go back and run through the... the playthrough that I just did. It's going to be the exact same story. Uh, there are going to be some upgrades to weapons, equipments, and whatnot, but the main thing is you're going to be getting more ability points, more levels, more experience, so you can fill out the rest of the ability tree while completing New Game Plus and getting Final Fantasy. Fantasy, finally. Anyway, and once you've got those two achievements, your Platinum will unlock and you will be done. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video where I do some highlights on that. Um, and 
thank you for supporting this channel. Uh, please hit that like button, uh, subscribe, put a comment down below. These all help grow and spread the channel. And once you have done that, please feel free to check out some of the other content I do on this channel here on the left. And we'll see you in the next video.